Okay, the show is Africa Daily on Africa Global Radio. I believe we have Mama Olushi online with us right now. So let me quickly connect with her so we can have conversation. Mama Olushi, good afternoon and welcome uh, to the Africa Daily Show. How are you? I'm fine, and you? I'm okay, Mama. I'm okay. I hope something is on is on fire because after after yeah, this, I will be passing by. No problem. <laughs> but re- real quick, Mama Oluchi, uh, w- yes. what is your f- real name? My name is Anna Suberu. Anna Suberu. Yes, please. Okay, Anna Suberu. I like as Mama Oluchi. I like as Mama Oluchi. Thank you very much for adding yes, that one. Please. I like it. <laughs> but, uh, but but Suberu of what? ethnic you know group do you belong to I, I believe you're from nigeria correct yes please Wh- yes. which ethnic group do you belong to Igbo. oh you're an Igbo. yes please. Su- Su- suberu did i mention that correctly no it's, my husband is a yoruba man oh wow right <laughs> wow so okay that's very interesting okay before we get to that part just tell us what are some of the dishes you prepare okay uh first and foremost i prepare a lot of nigeria food Okay, like particular there's Igbo food in style. Okay, Igbo mm-hmm. food. What what, what are yeah. some of the Igbo foods you prepare? Okay, I prepare uh, ebusi. Soup. Okay, okay. I prepare bitter leaf soup. Bitter leaf soup. Yes. Okay. I prepare oha soup, but I don't know the name for English. That's the leaf. Don't worry, we like that one. Oha, we like that one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we prepare. We prepare. I prepare okazi soup. Okazi soup. Yes, I prepare and sala soup. And sala soup. Mm, I make obono soup. Obono. Yes. Amazing. Obono. And I make okro. Okro. Okay. Okay. So yes. all of these soups you've mentioned are they soups that are only con- like consumed by the Igbos in Nigeria? No. Oh, all the whole Nigerians they eat the food. Oh. But which Every which part of Nigeria they eat? Uh, yeah, I know. But which ethnic group is it peculiar to? Is it the Igbo? They actually yes, introduced it, the Nigerians. Yes. We prepare Oha particular is for Igbo. That's from Igbo state. Igbo state. Bitali soup, uh, Bitali soup is from Anambra. Anambra state. state. Yes. Nice. Erika Eko is from Calabar. Oh, Erika Eko. I, I know Erika Eko. <laughs> mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Okay. Erika Eko. So what's the difference here? What are some of the things that, you know, uh, differentiate, let's say, Ogbono from mm-hmm. Oha? Uh, to, to Okazi, what are some of the difference? See, uh, come for the Oha soup in Imbo state. Not everybody eat Oha soup. Okay. You understand? In particular, they made it. That's Ofo. It's from Imbo state. That's Owe soup. Understand? Okay. So, um, the Tali soup is for the Anambra generally. The Anambra. People. Okay. Yes. Mm. That's it. People to eat some part of uh, ethnic group eat the Bitali soup. Mm. Understand. Right, mm. right. Oha soup too. Part of them for Anambra too. They make it. They cook it too. They eat it. Okay. So in as much as Oha is for Igbo, but parts of Anambra people also prepare Oha Oha soup. Yes. yes. Great. And you said uh, 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 Edikaiko is for the Calabar people. Yes. Uh, wh- wh- I myself I prepare it too. I make it by myself. I cook it. Some people too eat it. Okay. You know, it's in form of vegetable. Oh. It depends how they give it. To, they give the name to it. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. So I prepare the. But I. Amazing. But I, so you you've mentioned the differences. So what are some of the similarities amongst these? You know, because sometimes when when I see some of these soups, I, I find something similar. That is the egusi. You can find some in. I, I don't know, but is does it. Is it does it apply? Do you apply this, such an ingredient to all of these soups, or there are specific soups that you apply a goosey to? Yes, there's some soup that we apply a goosey like this or kazi. Or kazi, okay. Their state, and they mold the goosey, they mold it small, 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 so they put inside the soup. Okay, so kazi is from is Abia people who eat Abia that one. People, yes. Okay, okay, uh-huh. right. For also, you prepare the a goosey himself and you add. Vegetable inside. Okay. Mm. Okay. Okay. So All everybody right. eat it. It depends how they prepare it. Mm. Mm. Everybody have their own to prepare it. Like Yoruba, they prepare it in a water way. 
Right. Understand? Yeah, yeah. Uh, but uh, y- y- uh, well, for our listen, well, for our listeners out there, we're speaking to Mama Oluchi, uh, who is actually, you know, a chef here in Abe's Ghana uh, at Osu, and she's she's one of those uh, ladies from Nigeria preparing great cuisine, uh, you know, for. I believe a vast majority of customers, and it, some of the dishes she prepares has been displayed on our screens right there, so you can take a look at them. Now, you, you mentioned vegetables. What are some of the unique leaves? Because I believe they have names. What are some of the yeah, leaves you find in some of the, these? Yeah. Uh, we have ogu leaf. Ogu leaf. Yes, we have a water leaf leaf to mix it when we are making ogu kaiko. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. For the vegetable. For the vegetable. Mm-hmm. Right. Good. You've mentioned the soup. Now, we need something to accompany the soup. What is the most mm-hmm. common, uh, you know, uh, preparation or meal that you can use to accompany these soups? Like, um, let's say, like, oh, soup. Mm. So you make it differently. And there's no existing for you prepare it differently. With the leaf and the ingredient on it. Okay. So if somebody wants to mix the soup, mm. I want to use a goose to mix it over. Mm. So you give them some little this, give them little this, so that you will go and eat it. Oh, okay. Them. So you can actually mix them, you know? Yes. Right. Yes. So when so for let's say a goosey soup like this, you is it is it is it is it is eba the best you know uh, complement to that particular soup? It. No. Okay. It's not the best, but we have and the gram is the best for the whiskey. Okay. Oh. And uh, another swallow is best for the whiskey is fufu. Yeah, fufu. Apple. Yes. I was about apple. <laughs> oh, apple and fufu are the same thing. Yes. Oh. Mm-hmm. Right. Okay. Mm-hmm. Right. So, so uh-huh. you don't necessarily need, but, but I, but, but, but I mostly see people, you know, eat. Eba with some of these soups. Why is why is this why is like Eba the dominant one? Uh, please, Eba is quick. It's oh. quick. You can prepare it immediately to use to eat when you are hungry to do the Eba fast fast and uh, eat. Oh, okay. Uh-huh. Some of them cannot wait for pounding the yam or turning the fufu. Right. Or pounding the fufu. Uh-huh. Mm. So that's the reason why they some of them in life for Eba fast fast and eat okay. the food. Uh-huh. Great, great. You, you just mentioned fufu. You know what? Here in Abe is Ghana, when you mentioned fufu, we're talking about you know, something made ah. from cassava. You pound it and then... Yes. Is it the same as the, the Nigerian fufu or apple? Mm-hmm. Nigerian fufu. Is it is the same? No, no, no. Nigeria, you know, we soak our own for the water for four days. You mean the cassava? After that, we filter it and we dry it. Oh. So we dry it, we mold it and put for pot. We pound it as mm. normal. After the first one, second one, we pound it very well. So you have done to go. Okay, mm-hmm. right, right. All right, <laughs> interesting. So tell me, who are those who actually come to, you know, buy uh, Mama Oluchi's, uh, you know, delicacy? Is it more of Nigeria, more of Ghanaians, or is is both of the two? Oh, both of them, of them, they come to eat my food. Ghana eat, Nigeria eat. Okay. So even if they white people say they come to eat my food. All right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, for, for, so for how long have you been preparing, uh, you know, Nigerian dishes here in Ghana? Oh, more than 15 years now. More than wow. 15 years. So mm. I, I want to believe Oluchi was born in Ghana. No, 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 no. I take him as a baby to Ghana. Oh, oh, him as a, wait, like Ol- Oluchi is a boy? He's a girl. Oh, he's a girl. Oh, so you take, yes. you, you, you've, you've taken her back to Nigeria? No, he's here. She's here? Oh, <laughs> yes, okay. That, that, that's good. I hope you've given her a Ghanaian name. Because, uh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> interesting. Uh, she's, an ad- she's an adult now. No. Right, right, right. But, but Mama, Mama Oluchi, there's something yes. that I also want to ask. You know, I mean, thank you for actually making some of these things clear. If you watch some of, you know, our Nigerian epic movies and all of that, you know, those in our villages and what have you, you realize that there's this kind of meal they prepare. Like, I don't know how fast they prepare it, but you see yam and, and palm oil or red oil. Mm. Is, 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 mm-hmm. is it is it a, is it an Igbo kind of food or is like because we I mostly see it in Igbo movies. And we like to eat yam with the oil. Why? Because it's good for us to eat. It's good for our body. Oh, okay. So the red oil, oil gives us vitamin A to use and eat your yam with pepper. Oh, so okay. Mm-hmm. So for the for the health benefits in there. 
Yes. Okay, because I think it's just you know sometimes they show this house poverty now. You just eat yam and and red oil. So you don't maybe no, no, you think no. you go with it or you red oil you go with it, the yam. Oh, I will like it. Mm-hmm. Wow, wow, mm-hmm. that's that's I'm, I'm, that's interesting. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> well, I have my colleagues here. They also want to ask uh, you some few questions. A very no interesting problem. conversation. So, uh, half is okay. Epi, Epi is here. I believe you've spoken to Epi already. Okay. Yeah, so Epi, shoot. Oh, Lucy. Yes, my dear. When afternoon. Sh- afternoon. Or when should we come for hours? Oh, any day you will make ready, you'll come. <laughs> Def- definitely. <laughs> we'll, we'll look for a day and then we'll come together. Right. But no I, problem. I just want to ask that, is it easy to get the ingredients for the soups here in Ghana? Is there a special mm. Nigerian market available? Yeah. yeah. Or do you just go it, to the normal Ghanaian market and you can find no. everything? We have, please, we have a Nigerian market here at Katamantu. Okay. Mm. Uh, where we went and buy all the ingredients that we need for the food. You see? So the idea in market, so Nigerian market at Katamantu. Mm. So a place is now some of them are open shop like Sprinters, that Sprinters market, there are some. There's no one market, there are some Nigerian ingredients over there. You see, you come to Labadi market, there's some ingredients in Labadi market here. Okay. You see, so we go to Sue Market too, there's some there to buy. And hmm. you get leaf, you get a goosey, get tongue oporopo, dry hmm. fish hmm. and crawfish. Wow. So Opo, oporopo. I like that name. It 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 it, it, it it's tasting very delicious already. <laughs> that's that's that stock fish. <laughs> okay, stock fish. Oh, okay, okay. So right. We get them for the market. Mm. For oh. all this market that I mentioned, when they get there, you get them. Oh, so 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 you you're trying to say that there are some fishes that you cannot buy here that need to be transported from Nigeria. Yes, that is oh. this stock fish. We can't but we can't get it here. Oh, they brought okay. it from Nigeria. Right. So there are some dry fish where we know. So there's some of them. They brought them for the Nigeria here, okay. for Nigeria to Ghana. Okay. So we get some. Mm. Interesting. Okay. So, okay. So one thing I just want to ask: We have, have you? Well, I've usually heard the saying that better soup na money kill em. Is it because <laughs> if you don't have money, you can't make correct Nigerian soup, or because yes. probably your meat or fish is very expensive? Uh huh. You see, so that it depends how you you know. Nigeria food, when you are making it, you have to spend your money. Uh. It's not the tomatoes and pepper to put it inside the water. No. You have to get enough fish for your soup, mm. enough crayfish, enough oyster fish, and the meat for the soup. You see? So you make it to be test. It might just be added one or two. Uh. Because you get the real test for Nigeria food from these things that you buy. And that's mm. like okuroko and the dry fish. And the crayfish before my goo be added only one for my soup. Hmm. You see, interesting, interesting. Uh, that's what we have. Okay, ma- ma- let me quickly just I have last two questions for you. Now you said your your husband is actually a Yoruba man. Yes. So do you? I, I believe he 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 may have or sometime occasionally you prepare amala. Yes, I make amala. Mm, I make um, mm. a way do stew. Oh, at the, and beggy. There's this one called beggy. Agree. It's beans grounded. Right, right. Guys. Oh, okay. That's the big soup for the amala. Okay, right, you right. add a small a wedu inside mm. in, if you want. And that is more of like the the mm. the, 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 the dish for known, you know, to be well consumed by the Yorubas in Nigeria. Yeah. yeah. In, interesting. You've been in Ghana for 15 years. There's the one question I want you to answer for me. Me. And don't be biased, Mama Oluchi. Hmm? Yeah, Nigerian jollof and Ghanaian jollof, which one is, is the outmost for you? Uh, Nigerian jollof is the main. Hey, Mama Oluchi, I've been partial. Hey, Mama Oluchi, this one I'm partial. No, eh? I will not partial. The person that they called to come and prepare Nigerian jollof rice, he didn't do it well. Are you sure? Understand me, yes. So, where, 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 the, well, per your own understanding or your own, where do you think uh, jollof originated from? From Nigeria. Hey! <laughs> the, the, the people in Senegal will also say something else. The Wolof, they also say nah, they are their own now. <laughs> no, they're not with their own. So you think Ni- the, uh-huh. Nigeria, the love is the best. The people they call to come for the African something, something, chef. Okay. They did not start from the hometown. Make, he didn't prepare it from the home before he came up. Okay. Understand me. When I prepared the love rice for you for the public, or Ghana prepared their own, my dear. You come to my own. 
and really? eat my own no see yes no, I'm I, telling I, 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 need, I need i need to make myself available <laughs> yeah very very important <laughs> but you thank like you. my jollof rice as them you know <laughs> right right but thank you very much mama oluchi for joining us thank it has been so very much. very thank insightful you know. all right so, so we'll make time please. and come eh all okay. right thank you bye-bye okay you so all right you're welcome, you're welcome. <laughs> very interesting right there man very very interesting yeah. wow 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 okay so that was uh mama oluchi uh with us um she prepares nigerian dishes here in albay's ghana a suburb osu i mean one of the yeah, as you can see, it's actually rolling on our screen. So for our viewers, we'll get to understand. Well, for those of you listening, you can also check it out on our YouTube page. Today's edition, actually, uh, the discussion zone, our conversation with Anna Suberu, a.k.a. Mama. Is it alias? Let me just say, a.k.a. alias. <laughs> Mama Oluchi, I like that one. <laughs> Guys, hmm. <laughs> Mama Oluchi, you know, on her A game, you know, I mean, I, I, I really enjoy I, I wish it never ended. <laughs> But I enjoyed the conversation, yes. Yeah, I noticed you enjoyed yourself. Yeah, so yeah, much, yeah, yeah. But... She brought me back home a bit. Uh, uh, the, 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 the part about asking her why. Uh, <laughs> what uh, that about? No, I just needed to know why. Like, <laughs> why what? Uh, why? Why they consume yamen? Uh, yamen. Uh, no, she said, she said, she said it's not because of uh, because you know most of the times when you watch some of these epic movies, you realize yeah. that deprived home poverty has befallen such a home and i oh well bring the yam and doesn't let's eat now so is it because yeah, of that talking or... poverty is more about uh, you know and she mentioned the sachet water and bread <laughs> <laughs> that's what it is <laughs> and you know she mentioned some of the nutritional values you can actually get from some of these meals which i think is actually true you don't necessarily need all need all the ingredients you know to to bless yourself with uh nutrients and all that but half let me hear you Yes, uh, but but seriously, that, mm. was, that was a good conversation. Right. Because, uh, mm. I mean, on African dishes. And, Absolutely. You know, and that's even, that's one. Yes, that's just one. one. Yes, and we're talking Nigeria. Nigeria, uh, yes, yeah. There's so much, mm. there's so much you can uncover mm. in Nigeria. Yeah. But that's the beautiful thing about Africa when you talk about cuisine in mm. Africa. There's no such thing about African cuisine because, I mean, you are talking about, you know, a continent that has so many regions, so many cultures mm-hmm. and everything. Mm-hmm. I mean, even take Nigeria, for instance. We are talking about some 200 plus languages. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And of all these 200 plus languages and cultures, mm. each and every culture has its own delicacy. Delicacy. Yes. Yeah. And the way, yeah. the unique forms of preparation. Mm-hmm. So it's not just about one thing. I mean, you, you could talk about even the closest you can come to generalization is talking about you know you know the regional uh, the regions basically so you're talking west africa east, east africa, africa. africa yeah yes and yeah. speaking of the regions i think tra- uh, you know in terms of traditional diets west african diets actually is actually one of the best mm. if not the, the best in terms of nutrition so yeah. I, i'm not surprised with everything that she's mentioned mm. when it comes to nigeria I mean, right you know west african diets yeah or traditional diets from west africa you're talking some vegetables with grains yeah and, and with a meat and or fish mm-hmm, accompaniment mm-hmm. i mean not egg good. you know yes. yeah <laughs> but obsession with egg, anyway. i know right <laughs> <laughs> i but, mean nothing based that. yeah so you find these things but if you're going back into you know this uh, to look at some of the influences mm. on, on our dishes and right. how this whole thing came out you can see the you know the imprints of colonial uh there are the remnants of uh, colonialism in that is that is cutting into you know, the way we, you know, that has influenced the culinary changes that we've seen. Now. Yes, okay. exactly. You can see some bit of French influences. You can see some bit of English influ- influences. Yeah. You can see some bit of even Portuguese. Portuguese, Spanish. Influ- exactly. Mm. Because of, you know, colonialism. And, and the thing about it is that some of these uh, colonialists brought in their, their forms, uh, the, yeah. their, their ways and food right. as well. I mm. mean, you're talking the Lebanese community. You're talking the Indian community. True. Even in parts of Senegal, you can talk about even the, the Wall of? Viet- Vietnamese. Okay, okay, the, okay, okay. Yes, right. Yes, uh, I, I even talked about Indian. I mean, when you talk about India, uh, South Africa comes to mind. Yes, yes, In South yes, Africa, some yes. of the, uh, what do you call the staples? Mm. You can talk about bubble tea. but Trace it back to India. Yes, mm. not, not bubble tea itself, but uh, the next that comes to bubble tea, you can talk about biryani. And mm. biryani... Is, is the name English. sounds Indian, exactly, right? Yes, uh, mm. Brian is Indian, so you have some of these things, and you can find these traces. And the thing about Africa is, it still has traces of foods everywhere. Yeah. In the Americas, you are talking about Mexico, Brazil, because of the transatlantic. Yeah, history. true. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And Ecuador and places like that. You mentioned Spain. Mm. Yes, we are talking about the nas- national dish, the paella. 
Uh, Talk well, about Brazil, yes. that connection with the Yorubas in yes, Nigeria. Yes, yeah. Yeah. Like so, mm. a, a, a lot of dishes and, right. and, and a lot of, uh, you know, cuisines, cuisines to explore. Mm. But uh, going for that, I mean, I, I, I mean, three dishes caught my attention, uh, you know, uh, in my, you know, reading mm. and preparations for, for this. And I think... Drop, drop it like it's hot. Yes. Uh, Number one is wasa wasa. Okay. Yes. Uh, it's usual. It's prepared in our base. A unique, a unique. Yes. In, in, in northern, in, in the northern, northern Ghana, parts. Actually. Yeah. Yes. And uh, some know it as yam couscous. Yeah. Now here's the thing about wasa wasa. Now wasa wasa. Yeah. So you people should get ready. <laughs> Hold on. Get ready with your own uh, unique cuisine from your ethnic group. Oh, I'm sure yeah. they have a lot. Oh yes, yeah. Yes. So, so yours is yours, you're going for wasa wasa. Now Brian. with wasa wasa, mm. this tray I came across. Now with wasa wasa. The thing about wasa wasa is that it takes nine hours to prepare. Mm -hmm. Nine. <laughs> <laughs> no, wait, nine. Yeah, so when you start somewhere at wait, 6 a.m., you are looking at three. <laughs> three <p. M>. ah. <laughs> so all this while I've been consuming wasa wasa, <laughs> I, 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 it's like, I thought it was like some two, three hours, something. Yes, something. and it's prepared using uh, pounded radium. Now, yeah. mm. the interesting thing, there's this myth surrounding the food mm. that if you are not clean. neat or yeah. clean, mm. yes, you can prepare right. it. Right, heard yes, that too. A, yes, it's actually a testament to how, you know, you know how your personal hygiene is. Mm. Yes, so uh, there's this myth that uh, those say uh, if you are in that time of the month, some of them may like... It doesn't work. You yes, prepare you can it to, prepare yeah. it if you are in the, the time of the month. Mm. Some would say if you just had sex with your husband, mm? yes, you can prepare it. All these so all those people be mine was also from they've abstained from from their prepare, mutual hey, exactly so prepare was <laughs> also so you have wow. to abstain from sex to prepare was also wow yeah. so interesting stuff there when it comes to was mm. and uh, so it's actually it's it's a delicacy in northern Ghana you can check that out mm. now the next uh, one I came across was Dorowat. Doro what? Yes, it's actually oh, an it, Ethiopian stew. Yeah. stew. Yes. Epi, Epi should be familiar with that. <laughs> she should be familiar. Yeah, with that. I, don't, I mean she's a foodie. But. She is she <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, let's continue. <laughs> so, uh, Doro what? Doro is chicken, and what stands for stew? So, we're uh, talking about the best chicken, chicken stew. stew, yes. Okay, uh, from Ethiopia, yes. And it is usually eaten with injera. And ah, yes, is yes. it injera or injara? Injera, yes. Injera, so, yes. Okay, so what you actually did, you it's poured on something like that, the injera, and usually they cut a piece and uh. You know, and they scoop a bit of the what. Okay. Yes. Uh, and, and I mean, when you watch them eat it, it's it's, it's, it's something, something else. It's yeah. something amazing. Mm. That you, you but just... I heard it's not easy to actually consume. Oh yeah, to oh, prepare actually, nice. it takes about five to seven hours. That's to... another one. <laughs> Why are they <laughs> taking long? To... No, come on, yes, come. So... Injera takes days. What? Yeah. That, I'm even downplaying it. What? Because if yes, so for once and I've seen it's five to hours. To yes. And we are talking about. You're looking for lemon juice. To yeah, that's the, the part I'm like. Yes, yeah, you are, you are looking for a lot of onions to also prepare it. Wow. As well. Wow. Yes. And the thing about eating it, when you are eating it, it's it's a communal thing. It's, um, yeah, you eat it together. Yes. Yeah. So, group. Yes. yes. So mm. when you are eating it, usually when you find someone try to you know, you know, feed you with a muzzle. Uh huh. Yes. Uh, it's 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 don't be alarmed. Okay. Oh, He's wow. not saying you can't eat. It's just part of the Ethiopian. A uh, custom known as gosha. Oh, oh, okay. Yes, so yeah. it's like enjoying the yes, meal. That shows like, that shows friendship yeah, and love. And like you said, it's a communal thing. So, yes, so togetherness. If, if they actually try to feed you. You know, just accept. Uh, no, it. I might as well drop everything and just wait for yes. the people to. And feed the last you. one, the last one is in Kenya. Okay. Yes, and it's actually called nyamachoma. Right. <laughs> nyamachoma. Nya, nyamachoma. Yes, nyamachoma mm. is just Swahili for roast meat. Roast meat, roast meat or roast meat. Roast, roast, roast meat. meat. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So, so in the Kenyan part, we are talking about some grilled goat meat. Wow. Yes. So nyamachoma. With the thing about nyamachoma in Kenya is that every gathering is an excuse to eat nyamachoma. Oh really? Yes. And uh, it comes goes with a side dish of uh, yeah what they call the uh, kachumbari salad. Mm -hmm. Yes. And ugali. Ugali is just maize dumplings okay. that they eat it with it. So. Mm. But the thing with nyamachuma is that it's it's not consumed alone. Some some would think nyamachuma and they are thinking suya. Yeah, a like yeah. kebab. Yes, okay. Uh, suya in Nigeria, but yeah. that's not it. I mean, yaji. Yes, this suya is and yaji. vegetables and everything. Okay. All so right. Basically, these are just interesting. Let me get to uh, mame. Uh, oh, okay, okay, yeah. mame. Y you cannot wait for six, seven hours for a certain meal. <laughs> Which one would you go? <laughs> Which one were you going for? 
Depending on the hours. Nah, if you're not, if you're f- forgoing all of these, which obviously becomes your opportunity cost, what is your next go to? Does it have any food, right? Yeah. I mean, in Africa. Rice and stew. Rice and stew. But rice and stew. Come to think of it, I, I, I've been trying to, 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 no, hold on. I've been trying to, to, uh, to map rice and stew to an ethnic group. No. I can't seem to, to find one. There are influences, like I mentioned, I mean, over the years in our culinary yeah. you know, behaviors. Uh, you find certain dishes that are, yeah, yes, you foreign exactly kind so. of thing, yeah. So. Mm. But I hear the houses that they so prepare. Is, is the reason we still have a lot of confusion surrounding jollof? Is that true? That's true, right? Yes. Yeah. The 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 is, I don't know if it's the houses or the Muslims. I don't know because of the eat they prepare a lot. Of, they prepare what a lot food? about the I, stew. I mean, stew. You know, you know, prepared eat, by eat Muslim mostly. women during salah. My God. <laughs> okay, so for those of you, uh, get ready. <laughs> you might get an invasion. <laughs> but but but. This, what, those mm. stews are mm. stews to die. All right, real quick. So, based but, on your ethnicity, what is your what, what what's your favorite dish uh, you want to share? Okay, um, I think fufu. Okay, which soup? Because there are varieties you can. My you man know. is not. It's not palm nut. No. Palm nut. For me, palm nut. I I no. No, me too. No. Like well, goat, goat, is heavy. goat meat light soup. Goat meat light soup. Or okay. chicken granite soup. Mm. Okay, right. Well, me. Mm. <laughs> Okay, that would be your. That's your favorite. That's your that's favorite. But there's one food I trust upon, which is eating in Seychelles. And okay. It's called uh, the way she means Seychelles. Eh? It's I believe okay. it's called the Chatini Requeen. Okay. And the interesting thing about it is, the ingredients include boiled and mashed shark meat. Shark meat. So you need to get a shark. <laughs> Is that a suicide mission? No comment. <laughs> uh, Shatini. Shatini Requeen. I believe the shit there has, is just representing the shark. <laughs> because you need a shark meat. Shark meat. Wow. No, but, okay. I mean, fishermen could, could get shark. Really? Well, huh? Really? We can know the season. Everything yeah, here. I mean, that place is like, the you know, it's like it's an island. Isn't that easy to capture a shark? It's not, but they can. I mean, this million-dollar fish, what's it, what's it called again? The one that the Nigerian guy <laughs> caught and used it for delicacy. <laughs> guy, guy, uh, <laughs> but how would you know? Like, it's, it's that amount of money. Millions of dollars. No, but how the guy you? spread the thing. Uh, Besides, just, uh, my goodness. You don't know exactly how ready you buy it. Anyway. It's very so. Allowed no, but but it, but so. if 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 it was it was made, yeah, Charlie, we share amongst ourselves. So, so yeah, yeah, and then there's another one that is is a bat carry. Bat carry. Like bat meat. Made of bats. <laughs> in Seychelles. <laughs> would you still want? Would you still want to go there? Yes. Just contemplating. <laughs> that's a, that's. <laughs> yes. So the bat carry is usually prepared with chunks of skinned fruits. Um, bats. Okay. Skin fresh bats. Yeah. That is marinated in vinegar and red wine, wow. and then cooked with a variety of herbs and spices. Your it is usually eaten with steamed rice and potatoes. Right. Your so. facial expression. No, but, but what's wrong? With, uh, people eating bats. I mean, people eat snakes even in Ghana here. So. What? Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah python. Yeah. Python. Yeah. Python yeah. yeah. Oh, don't you know people python eat snake? Too. People eat snake. It's I mean, snakes. yeah. Snakes well, and everything. So one one would say one. I, I, I actually <laughs> thought. I actually thought. I actually had that mentality that only those you know those who that go for the military training when they find themselves in the jungle, mm-hmm. starving, they get this big snake passing by. It's like, hello, this is me, guys. Anything? They get it in there. But apparently, people actually mm, eat yeah. snake. Yes, and they they say it tastes like fish. But yeah, they say you okay. Uh, sure. What's your problem now? <laughs> I've, I've had a problem they before. Say. Uh, they say I don't want to be uh, implicated here. Uh, Epifania, no. you have been uh, over. How uh, should I overtaken by Hafiz to Ethiopia? Uh, you no, don't I have mean, to mention Injara. I still can mention Injara. I mean, from the Berebere to Mitmita to Kitfo. Mitmita. Yes. Is that something made from meat? No, uh, it's, it's a mixture of spices <laughs> they actually use. Oh, meat meat. It's a mixture of spices they actually put together to okay. make their stews. Mm. It's, it's like the beriberi. Uh. And you get the spices from Ethiopia. Now, the key thing that I yeah. like about the Nigeria yeah. is the tefla, the tef green. You can only get it. Is only unique to Ethiopia. 
dry. You can't get it anywhere. anywhere. So if you want it, you have to go to Ethiopia. Mm. And some Ethiopians have actually taken some outside mm. to mill and then cook in different but places. But it still doesn't taste. But you can't grow it outside Ethiopia. Wow. Mm. That is the thing about the temple. Well, they call it the land. So uh, something unique about the land definitely may be manifesting over the years. And but most, of, most of their foods are very healthy. Like the lentil stew they do, for example. Okay. They have the vegetable one. Mm. They have a salad. They don't use cream or anything. Mm. It's just tomatoes, onions, and okay. then the lettuce. All right. Great. Well, you're, you're, you're an, uh, an airway. What is your... your like that... That's, Dominant. Ah, what's your problem? <laughs> Which one is yours? Yours is TZ. <laughs> That's all. Allow the lady to speak for herself. Uh, what's yours? Is it? I, I like a work play. No, it's not. About, oh, you like a work play. But what is the difference like, between a work play and a play? Yeah. A play is what you put called Banku. Without the oh, condo. Okay. Banku is the car name for a play. And the work play is what? A work play is the dry powder. No cassava dough. Oh. And then you don't soak the corn in water. You just smell it dry like that. And that one, you it takes less than, like 10 minutes is done. Okay. And you need to constantly do it. If not, it would all become a lump. Mm. And, and then you can't so do that. So do you that. like it because it takes like 10 minutes? No, it digests very quickly. See, the yoga likes good rice for and your stew. immune system I'm surprised. Well, <laughs> and you can eat it at any time, and it still works. With, it with, you with, with okra? It doesn't, with okra, with pepper. Mostly we take it with pepper okay. and then fried fish. Okay. Some people also take smoked tuna, but mm. people really like to take it with abobi. When you. Abobi. What's abobi? What is abobi? Abobi tari is, they are very tiny fishes. Fishes, yeah. <laughs> very tiny. But abobi is bigger in size as compared to the one man thousand. Which one is Keta School Boys? Is mm-hmm. Keta School Boys bigger than no, Abobi? Another fish. Another Keta, Keta fish School Boys is bigger species? than Abobi. Abobi is slender and like long. Keta School uh, Boys is a little bit big. Okay, okay. Wow, interesting. <laughs> and 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 <laughs> what me? No, but have you noticed how people eat food? You know, even the way they eat the foods and you know the different parts of the country they come from. So the way say an Ashanti man would consume eat fufu, fufu. Mm-hmm. it's not the same way a Dagoma would consume fufu. Yeah. No, 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 yes. no. Uh, the way Gamma would eat kinky. With small pepe. Charlie. No, in Tamale, we take it like soup. <laughs> soup. Yeah, <laughs> you need to be <laughs> eating the soup. Is there pepe. So, just watch it. Oh, yeah. Is there you reason when you give can... someone a spoon no. of pepe and say you can eat two ah, seasons well, worth of cake? No, is there reason when a Nordner comes out to Accra ah, and they serve you pepe? They'll, pr- they'll provoke. They like... They'll provoke. Like, ah, guy, what's your problem? It annoys you to Give me call. soup. <laughs> give me pepe. I give me two, two spoons. Yeah. Yeah. Soup. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We don't care. We just need enough pepe to consume the cake. Then you know it's the fufu. Right. And you find, you know, most Atlantis will buy just... Like some five CD fufu with some thirty CD meat. Yeah, it it covers <laughs> the whole thing. That that's that's <laughs> mommy's favorite. I want to believe so. Yes, but exactly. very interesting. I mean, yeah. there are a lot of them out there. And now, we, now, interestingly, there was this observation we made. I think I was eating fufu with a friend, and mm. as we were eating, mm. and uh, I kept avoiding the meat. I didn't okay. realize that was what I was doing. Just you know how we normally eat, and then we savor the meats for. <laughs> <laughs> You, you, you know, you don't save the meat for the last two. Exactly, you, you save the best for last. Yeah, that, yeah, you what, alongside. Now that was you what. Know, how are you supposed to do that? Unconsciously, that was what like I was doing, mm. and he was doing it. So he noticed that. I was like, ah, but you, why are you avoiding the meat? Why it doesn't belong to someone? I don't <laughs> so, even know. <laughs> in this thing, I love with it. I was like, ah. So and you realize it's even in the way we are brought up. You know how yeah. as a kid, sometimes you eat before you go take. You are meat. rewarded with meat, mm. especially when it's foods you don't like. Yeah. Yes, they could finish be it. And, yeah. yeah, my friend, we don't, we don't finish it. There's no chicken for you. Yeah. Does this, does this so, soup that we normally So, unconsciously, when, when you are eating, mm. you always leave the meat. It's oh, almost like a reward to yourself. That's like, that's <laughs> like, you, you that's, that's like the crowd. That's like the, the, the <laughs> trophy. <laughs> but yeah, it's... interesting. The show was Africa, which clearly run out of time. And we will definitely get into the uh, uh, the next hour as Mami Abba is yet to bring in what's on and what is new. So, yeah, we, we, we do have much time. Like I said, it, 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 we have this soup that we prepared. They call it Kuka. Charlie. I don't know if you guys are familiar I've with Kuka. It's a it's a green leaf yeah. pounded. Is it the one they eat they... with TZ? Yes. Oh my god. Uh-huh. Eh? What? For some of us, when we were young, me, I yeah. never liked Kuka. Like you know, that, you don't and like my it. mom. It's not Ayoyo. Ayoyo is another different one. Kuka is like. Have you seen Lele? Le- how do you even? Pre- even when you go to places where they sell, you know, you know these foods, 
Cooker like this, they, they, it's, they, it's they like gold, eh? No, it's, it's almost like almost hidden or something. Yeah, but, yeah until you make a special request, yeah. they actually bring yeah. it out. Yeah. Really? No, yeah, no, but it's all the places. No, but it's not the ayoyo but it's different from the green and then the normal she's still, she's, she's, she's probably ayoyo. thinking ayoyo, it's not, not ayoyo. ayoyo. Okay, ayoyo is different from kuka. Kuka is I don't I, I don't know the English. Kuka, they, they had English to make name. stories around it to make my mom. My mom used to tell me that. It, that's the food. That's the the soup they consume in, in paradise. Right. <laughs> <laughs> the boy wants to go to paradise. So I'll cry and eat, and then you know, <laughs> yeah. Why? Nobody likes kuka. Up to why, today, why some of my brothers like, at home is don't. It a taste or everything about it. I don't know. I mean, <laughs> some like way. Cocoa. Well, and and it looks like henna paste. Yes, yes. lily. Lily. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah. yes. That's how it looks like. Yeah. That's how it. But the but trust brown. me. Yeah. yeah, and I don't know the myth the behind thing. it. If our grandmothers should my grandmother prepare kuka and my mother prepares kuka, I'd, I'd rather take the one with, from my grandma. Maybe it has There's something fish about and it. Other yes. stuff in there. There's so. something about it. But my mom used to tell me that's the the soup they consume in paradise. So <laughs> see me. <laughs> see me so, wanting. We, we all had that treatment from yeah, wanting grandma. to go to paradise yeah. and all. Very very what, interesting. One thing my grandmother did was you know like you mentioned when you're eating meat, you eat, especially when you're eating with adults, you're not supposed to take the meat. From yeah, mm-hmm. she prepared granite soup and she cut chunks of ginger and placed in it. And you know, because of the granite soup, you won't tell that this is meat. Meat, or yeah, and it looks like and meat. Yeah, my, my elder sister has a hack, habit of like picking when she takes the banku, then she covers the meat <laughs> and then <laughs> <she> <laughs> <laughs> and chew. So my grandmother had noticed it. I wanted to teach her a lesson. Oh. So she cut chunks of ginger. Chale. She herself didn't take any. Then when I start took the thing. I was thinking of my aunt. Eh? Nobody has seen it. <laughs> Oh my goodness, interesting stories right there. I mean, trust me, we don't really have much time, but very interesting conversations uh, right there on our discussion zone. And uh, I believe we'll get another time to talk about some of these brilliant, you know, uh, amazing uh, dishes uh, from various eth- ethnic groups uh, on the continent of Africa. I mean, we've not really gone, we've not even gone too deep. I mean, we've not even touched the Wolof in Senegal, the Mali, the Jollof rice, how oily it can be sometimes. You, 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 yeah, you, I mean, you scoop and then you, you squeeze and the oil can prepare another Jollof rice. I'm telling you, that's how it can be sometimes. And, uh, <laughs>